This is the Horse Radio Network. This is episode 104 of Horse Tip Daily. A different horse tip, a different equine topic, a different equestrian expert every day. Enjoy today's tip. Well, this is Glenn the Geek, and from Lexington, Kentucky, and welcome back, everybody, to Horse Tip Daily. Well, you know, we're at the end of a fun series that I did with Fran Yurga. Uh, by now, if you're a regular listener to the show, you know who Fran is, and she's a, become a good friend of mine. We love speaking and doing these tips. It's just been a, a whole lot of fun. She's been on a number of the shows on the Horse Radio Network over the past several months, and we just enjoy having her on. Well, today she's doing the final tip from from her series that we have done on horse books for the holidays. New books that have come out, new DVDs in today's case, that have come out that would make great Christmas gifts. So if you've missed all of these series, there's been a total of seven of them. This is the seventh. Just go to horsetipdaily.com, uh, look up Fran Yurga, or just look on the homepage there for all of the tips that have the Christmas tree with the gifts. That'll signify that it's a gift tip episode, and that uh, Fran was talking about some fantastic books that we've covered that have come out this year. It's amazing that uh, books, even in the modern age of internet, are still being published at a rapid rate, and people, especially horse people still love to have a hard copy of a book in their hands. So that's something that I don't think will change for horse people in a long time. Well, as I said, you can go back and listen to all of Fran's other tips, but right now we have the seventh in this series, and we hope, I sincerely hope, that this has helped give you some ideas for your horse friends and family, and that if your husband is stuck on what to get, your horse husband especially, is stuck on what to get you or your horse-loving kids, then have him take a listen to uh, any of Fran's tips along the way here. I'm sure he'll find something that you would absolutely love. Just uh, send him to horsetipdaily.com. Um, tell them that it's from one horse husband to another because I'm certainly one of those. Uh, well, here's uh, Fran's final tip. Hi, Fran. Welcome back to our last in our uh, tip gift tip episodes here where we're recommending books and DVDs for multimedia type stuff for the holidays. And I think you have two DVDs for us today, don't you? I do, Glenn. You know, I hate to see the series end. I know. Just keep doing this. <laughs> Although it's taken us about four days to record this, uh, so we, we kept yeah. having issues and technical difficulties, and we apologize for the quality of the first couple. But we're we're th- we're getting there. We're getting there. You know, our biggest tr- trouble is trying to stay on track. Glenn. Yeah, we kind of like to talk to each other. <laughs> Right. <laughs> and you're from my old stomping ground, where I lived for a couple of years, Massachusetts. That's right. I lived in Plymouth. And uh, and was happy to get out of Massachusetts, to be honest with you. Oh, I love it here. Do you? You like the snow and everything? Yeah, I I, I do. I, I really like all four seasons. You know, right now it's hard to adjust to it getting so cold. But, you know, it, it's, you know, the holidays. The problem just, with Massachusetts is the best season doesn't last very long. Would that be summer? Sum- summer, that yeah. yeah that'd be my yeah. best season. Yes. <laughs> 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 we we were there. They're all the best seasons. They're all the best seasons. <laughs> we we you know Lexington is nice. Lexington, Kentucky is nice because you get all four seasons. They're just moderated. Um, you know, you're not quite as cold. You don't have as you have a little bit of snow, but not you know not a lot of snow. And fall lasts longer, and spring lasts longer. So it's just it's just a, just a little bit nicer. But you still get all four. Am I making yeah, you jealous that, yet? That no, summer one is pretty dark. You know, we had the best summer ever this really year. Hot. It was in the eighties <laughs> and absolutely beautiful this year. It was just, it truly was a beautiful summer. I don't think we went over ninety, but five days. So it, it, we just couldn't have had it any better this year, except for the twenty thousand inches of rain we had. But other than that, right. it was great. <laughs> All right. What it never went over eighty because it was <laughs> raining every day. <laughs> so what? Uh, what do you have for okay, us? Okay, so DVDs? when it's a rainy day, you can stay indoors and watch DVDs. That's right. And the DVDs, <laughs> we have two great ones for people to give for gifts and watch themselves. And you know, it's kind of funny. These two DVDs fit together kind of nicely. They make a they make a nice uh, double bill in a theater, actually. <laughs> All right. Good. So what do we have? Well, let's start um, with the first one is sort of the more um, 
uh, I don't know how to say this, but the more down-to-earth one, I guess, maybe. Um, it's called Recognizing the Horse in Pain and What You Can Do About It. Now, that might sound familiar to I was going to say, it sounds familiar to me. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this is a companion DVD that goes with a book that we recommended um, a few days ago when we were talking about our um, biomechanics and uh, movement of horses. Uh, it's a veterinarian from California named uh, Dr. Joanna Robeson, and she's made just a terrific DVD because if you're talking about movement in horses, well, guess what? You might think about making a DVD. And she has done a terrific job. It's um, There's a lot about uh, horses with back pain, horses with gait problems, horses with sort of what we call subclinical lameness, you know, sort of minor problems. You know, they don't want to change leads or they, um, you know, hollow out their back or they are, you know, start refusing to jump or whatever. But, you know, her biggest thing is, you know, horses that are, um, get nappy, you know, they get, um, you know, disagreeable when you're saddling them, and uh, she brings you to the idea of horses that have either back pain or horses that hate their saddles, that, you know, for whatever reason, the saddle's causing pain. So this DVD breaks it all down for you, and um, it's absolutely terrific. I think that um, if you can actually see somebody else riding a crooked horse, somebody else not being able to get that lead change, somebody else, you know, constantly um, struggling, you know, with a horse that, you know, bites the air as soon as you lower the girth, you realize that, okay, you know, there are a lot of horses out there like this. And when you see the before and the after, really hits home. I, I think DVD is a terrific medium for things like this. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 and I think having the two together, the book and the DVD would be ideal. Uh, yeah, the, the book is very, very detailed, and the um, the DVD has covers a lot of things, you know, like five minutes on all different specific problems. Uh, but the horses are excellent. You know, they're quality um, sport horses, and I'm I'm you know, really, um, you know, quite impressed, you know, with the horses that she was able to show and with the improvements that she was able to um, get with um, either changing saddle fit, changing the tack, changing how the tack fit, or with um, simple uh, chiropractic or acupuncture treatments. It, it's um, pretty amazing. All right. Sounds good. And where can people find that DVD? That is uh, this DVD is is actually something that I'm marketing through our um, hoofcare.com website, and you'll be able to find it at www.hoofcare. That's H-O-O-F-C-A-R-E.com forward slash recognizing pain DVD dot html. All right, we'll put a link to that on our show notes as well, so that people can just go to horsetipdaily.com, go to this episode, and we'll just link right to that. Well, that's great. And you said you had another one, too, because you can't just on those cold, snowy days in Massachusetts where you can't even get out the door because the snow's piled up so high. You need a second one to watch. Absolutely. The second one is just fabulous. This is um, from Germany, and it's um, a veterinarian named Dr. Gerd Huschman. And Dr. Huschman is quite well known. He had the uh, number one bestseller on Amazon.com uh, for quite a while. It was a book called Tug of War, which is Modern versus Classical Dressage. And it was quite popular, and people said, oh, you need to make a DVD, you need to make a DVD. And boy, did he make a DVD. Uh, he had a... Um, producer who um, spared no expense and made a very um, lavishly produced, it's, it's really a film is what it is, and it is a manifesto for um, sort of the, um, the sport of dressage um, having gone astray, let's say, and um, how 
the um, biomechanics of, of modern dressage are not always what is best for the horse. Um, anatomically speaking, it has beautiful um, animations of anatomy and some recommendations for how um, horses um, should be ridden more in the classical way. And um, like I said, it's quite dramatic, and um, he is uh, very adamant. Um, this is very much his, you know, his opinion, and it's his manifesto of why and how dressage um, should change for the for the welfare of the horse. And um, it is superbly produced, and I, I just think it's a tremendous, tremendous thing for people to be able to see this. It has been one of the most popular things that we've ever sold at hoofcare.com, and uh, people rave about it. So um, I, I would recommend this without any reservation. Do you think that uh, that popularity is, uh, revolves around the controversy going on right now with the whole roll cur and all of that? Um, I think Roll Kerr has brought attention to this, um, but I, I believe that the DVD is, is much more than, than the Roll Kerr. Um, the, the book, I think, was, was predicated by the Roll Kerr controversy. Um, the DVD is, is much more um, about, uh, you know, just the, you know, some of the problems that modern dressage horses have and the problems of keeping these horses sound long enough to get to the Grand Prix level. And he, um, like I say, is very opinionated and has his, um, you know, his reasons for, for believing what he does. And I'm sure that it's not true of every horse and every trainer. Um, but he, um, you know, makes his case and he makes it quite, quite convincingly and uh, roll cur is definitely one of the things that he cites, um, but there are many um, ways of riding riding the horse and and uh, training the horse that he he goes through that he thinks are um, possibly um, dangerous or or injurious to the horse. Well, that's great. And what's it called again? It's called If Horses Could Speak. All right, and we can find that on your website as well. That's true. And Can you give that address again, then? Certainly. It's uh, www.hoofcare.com forward slash if horses could speak dot HTML. And again, we'll put a link on our website. Well, this has been fun. I want to thank you so much. We've had, we, it seems like it's taken us forever to get this series recorded because of some issues we had. But I'll tell you what, it's been so much fun. And will, will you do it again next year? Oh, why not next week? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> because I think I can just keep doing this. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are going to have you back. We we need to record some more tips uh, about hooves and horses' health as well. But, oh, good. Uh, but we need to do that as well. But uh, I, I I venture to say that you probably had a little more fun with this than than you do. You you like talking about horses' hooves, but you really got into this book thing. Oh, I I love the books. It, it's. It's a real passion of mine, and it was so much fun to pick out the special ones to be able to share with everyone. I I hope that uh, maybe we've helped some people with their Christmas shopping. Well, that's great. And I know I... that you're... You're going to make a beeline uh, to Joseph Beth, I think. To, uh... Uh, uh, we have the best bookstore. You're just you. Uh, you are we, so lucky. We to have to the, live there. Oh, uh, we do. And you know, only people, horse people, know this. In Lexington, Kentucky, there's a store called Joseph Beth Booksellers, and they carry more horse books than I've ever seen in any you know conventional bookstore before. And, of course, you know, we live in Kentucky, so they, they did it for that reason, but also because the owner, you know, knew his market very well. He is, he only has like four or six, I think he told me. We recorded the 2010 radio show there one day, and we had a blast. Um, it's just, it is the coolest bookstore, and it's just so much fun to go sit there, and you can spend hours in there. I do spend hours in there. Whenever I go to Lexington, Kentucky, it's my headquarters. I venture to say you will see more riding breeches in that bookstore than any bookstore in America. I uh, think so. Because every horse person that comes to Lexington knows to go to Joseph Beth, and it's just, it's, they have a restaurant there. It's, you can spend the whole day in there. It is a great place. 
I would say that other than maybe the, the DVDs that we just mentioned, I would think all the books that we recommended in these series, Glenn, I would almost guarantee that you could get them at, at – uh, at uh, Joseph Beth. Yeah, you probably and, and could. Not, you know, not not to take anything away from Amazon.com, because, but I know most of your readers aren't in Lexington. But if you if anyone is ever in Lexington, Kentucky, it is definitely worth a visit. Yep, just put it in your GPS and go. It's it's it is worth it. it is, and actually, it's surrounded by some of our favorite restaurants too, right there. So uh, it's it's a good location in Lexington as well. Well, Fran, until we talk again, we got to get out of here. Parting is such sweet sorrow, Glenn. I know, I know, but we need to do this again soon, and we'll we'll get back on topic here in in January, February, and and back to talking about horses' health. Okay, I'll look forward to that. All right, thanks, Fran. Well, thanks again to Fran for doing that for us. It, it's tremendous of her to spend the time to do that with us. It took quite a while, as we said. We had some issues with the recordings and that kind of thing, so it took like four different attempts over four different days to get all of those together. We hope you enjoyed them. We hope you found some gift ideas. Please do stop by our website at horsetipdaily.com and follow the links on all of the tip pages uh, through Amazon, that kind of thing. It helps uh, support the Horse Radio Network, and we appreciate that. Well, you know, it's been fun doing these tips, and we'll continue on throughout the rest of this year. That was just the last of the book and DVD tips that we'll be doing. But uh, we will uh, we will be continuing on tomorrow, as we always do, with the next tip. So stay tuned, everybody, and have a great ride, and be safe. Be safe.